A spokesman for the International Olympic Committee, or IOC, says it's not their place to judge whether the latest interview with Chinese tennis player Peng Shuai came about as a result of external pressures on the Olympian. Uh, we are a sporting organisation, and uh, our job is to uh, remain in contact with her, and as we've explained in the past, uh, to carry out personal, uh, quiet diplomacy, to keep in touch with her as we've done, to meet her in person as we've done. The spokesman confirmed the IOC President Thomas Bach and IOC member Kirsty Coventry met Peng on Saturday. He said Peng expressed her intention to travel to Europe when the pandemic was over, and Bach invited her to Lausanne to visit the IOC. Peng Shui accepted this invitation. Kirsty Coventry and Peng Shui also agreed that they would remain in contact, and all three agreed that any further communication about the content of the meeting would be left to her discretion. The well-being of Peng, a three-time Olympian, became a matter of global concern when she appeared to allege on social media that her former Chinese vice premier Zhang Gaoli had sexually assaulted her in the past. The spokesman said it's not up to the IOC to judge whether there should be an investigation into Peng's allegation. You've seen the words um, which in the interview which she gave to La Keep, I think it was an hour and more interview um, yes, yesterday or the day before, whenever it was, uh, which was published this morning. I think we need also to listen to her, and we need to, for, for, to, to read what she's saying. French newspaper La Quepe has published an interview in which Peng denies she ever accused anyone of a sexual assault, adding that she herself had deleted her social media post in November that had appeared to make such a claim. The newspaper says the interview was conducted in Chinese and translated into English by a Chinese Olympic official during the interview as well as an interpreter based in Paris. They said questions were submitted in advance, and the paper agreed to publish Peng's responses without commentary. Peng was quoted as saying, I'd like to say that feelings, sports and politics are three very distinct things. My love life problems, my personal life must not be mingled with sports and politics. While the Beijing Winter Olympic Games are underway, a distant Chinese artist who years ago helped design the Beijing National Stadium had tough words for the Chinese regime and others that kowtow to it. I think it's really, really unbelievable after 14 years of this, uh, this game, same game, return to the same country, a country not developed an inch in uh, towards uh, a better human rights and a better uh, uh, freedom of speech condition. Ai Weiwei has repeatedly described the 2008 Olympics as a fake smile that his native country presented to the world. He took aim at the International Olympic Committee, saying the Winter Games means big business for them. And they always stand, stand on the side of the wrong, you know, wrong region, you know, they, they, they never protect their human rights and they always uh, defend, uh, you know, whatever China is doing. He also said the Western countries' diplomatic boycott of the games is a disguise and in reality their business as usual. Anna Rodriguez, NTD News.